Hi everybody, my name is Benjamin Ogden and today I'm going to be showing everybody how to import any asset from the Unity Asset Store to a given project. Unity's Asset Store offers pre-existing game components like models, scripts, animations, and much more. Previous versions of Unity before 2020 used the built-in Asset Store browser. This was removed after the launch of Unity 2020, so now to get assets you're going to have to use the Import Package Manager. Now, up to the point of the video's creation, Unity is using the Import Package Manager, but they might change that in the future. So as a reference, just make sure to read up on Unity's documentation to see if they ever change that at any point. Now, first off, I'm going to have to show everybody just like a given example of a Unity Asset Store asset. So I'm just going to be using the standard assets. All you have to do is scroll down click add to my assets. And if you're signed in, it should give it to you in your account. Now that we have our Unity asset, we can go back into the Unity engine and actually import the asset from there. So all we need to do is in this example, I'm going to be using 2020.3.10 F1. Um, but any version above 2020 is going to be relatively the same steps, given that your version will still be using the package manager. So all we have to do is go up to the top window here where it says window, package manager. And now all we have to do is click packages, my assets. Looks like we already have it here, so we should be okay. And from here, it'll display every asset that you currently have bought or gotten for free from the asset store. Um, I'm just going to be clicking this one because this is the example that I'm giving. And you just click import. Now, it might show some settings or anything that up here that you'll want to add specifically to it. Some people might not actually want every given asset in the package. But for simplicity, I'm just going to say all and then click import. Make sure to give your computer some time to add all the assets as according to the Unity's guidelines, they may be up to six gigabytes in size. So you're just gonna have to give it some time for it to fully import. Now that we have our standard assets item in the project, let's test to see that it was imported correctly. I'm just gonna pick some standard random model that's in here. I think it's just going to here, models, materials. Actually, I'll just do one of these since this makes more sense. Just click this. And you see, we can drag it into the scene. Yeah, I'll put something else in there too. There we go. Yeah, so this is one of the items that was in the asset store, which means everything got imported incorrectly. Um, as an off note, Unity might display warnings about items not loading into the project. These errors might occur because assets are too outdated to bring everything into the store. For example, with our standard assets, we see an error showing up right here, saying that two of the items were not able to be loaded because of the main camera. This issue is occurring because of a different coding standard between the versions of the assets and the current version that we have. The version of the assets that I use, I believe is 2018. Um, you can check the version that the assets provide here. This says it's above like that, but some of the coding standards have changed since that time. So that's why we're getting some coding errors there. With issues like that, just make sure the error is occurring not from the import itself, but from the actual assets. That way you know if it imported the asset successfully. And you should be good to go. Good luck on all your projects in the future.